Yes, good morning. Yeah, let's get the music going. Let's get it going. There we go. All right, so yes, we've been out here all morning showing you different activities, different things people can expect when you first register, pre-register, uh, before you come down here to Beacon Park. Right now, we've got a dance performance taking place, and I'm actually joined by the director of this group, Raices Mexicanas de Detroit, Correct. Gloria Rocha. That's right. Did I pronounce all that correctly? You did. I did a good job. You okay, did all right. A good job. So tell me about the group. 40 years? Uh, we have been in existence for 40 years. 1981, um, a small group of teenagers decided that they wanted some culture that they have um, been missing here in Michigan, and they started this group. And we are uh, still going strong. Uh, and of course, our girls and our boys are, will be performing later, but we are very excited about. Um, being here today. Excellent. And who are you joined by? I don't want to, she's standing here. I didn't want to just ignore her. This is Ashley, one of our dancers. Okay. Um, the girls are dancing uh, yes. from Baja California and okay. Norte, which is more uh, cowboy style uh -huh. <laughs> dancing. But uh, also the traditional is Jalisco and she's got wearing the outfit from Jalisco. Her name is Ashley. All righty. Okay. And if you could just tell me about, it was the Cinco de Mayo, a, a celebration of, uh, of recognition of Mexican heritage. Just talk about what it means for uh, these young people here to be able to be a part of this. Well, now that I think part of it is is the um, idea of joining each other mm -hmm. and, and um, having the families uh, celebrate traditions that are in uh, Mexico. This is folklorico dancing, mm -hmm. and so that has been around forever in the villages, in the cities, and whatever of Mexico. However, uh, in Michigan, this is an opportunity for them to keep their culture and also to celebrate it. And so uh, I think it means a lot for the families and it means a lot to the girls. Excellent. And yeah. I also have boys. <laughs> okay, all right. All <laughs> and you'll right. be seeing them too. <laughs> yes, it means a lot for them. And then also people be able to come and, and experience this. And, they, they like and, to and share. Take yeah. Something away. Yeah, yes. we are able to perform all, at, at different events uh, and also to perform at, at home parties. That's kind of important too because that's right. when the grandmas and the grandpas and everybody else gets together and they get to celebrate. A reminisce about that's awesome. Time. So today, three thirty is when the group will perform. Three thirty, we will be here. Okay, all right. And, you know, probably gotta do some stretches and stuff. You know, I don't oh, know. Oh, they I most probably, certainly I probably broke an ankle or something <laughs> trying to do what they're doing. They, they <laughs> actually do. Uh, right. They actually do a ten minute routine okay. every time they start beforehand. Okay, uh, excellent. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, they'll be out here at three thirty, but the event starts here at Beacon Park at three o'clock. It'll go from three p.m. to seven p.m. You'll want to make sure to register first so that they can have a count. And obviously, we've got this whole COVID nineteen going on, so Look at we want to make sure that they keep things as safe and as contained as possible. Uh, you want to go to eventbrite.com in order to do that. But for now, we're live from Beacon Park. Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.